Welcome to Automation Training Hub. In this video, we are going to learn in ABPLC program control. So in program control, you can see they have given jump function and then uh, subroutine, temporary end, master control reset, suspend. So we'll see one by one. So in the program, for example, right now, I want to skip this particular rung. So it should execute only when I give a instruction that uh, it should run. Unless that your PLC should not scan this rung. So for that only we using jump instruction. So you can see JMP. So in the above network, I'm placing jump. And in the below network, I am placing a label. So that means uh, it will be like a jump endpoint. So in here the label act as a contact. So we need a coil. So next just so in here I'm placing a, for example PND. So whenever the switch is activated, your PLC assume. You can see total right now we have seven runs. But when this switch is activated, your PLC assume in your program only you have five lungs. It won't scan six and seven. So that is temporary end. And then suspend. For example, I'm placing a suspend in here. So suspend also same like TND, but in a temporary end, your PLC doesn't allow this one. But in suspend, what happens now? When the switch is activated, your PLC goes to fault mode. At runtime, when you interface with the controller, when the suspend is activated, your PLC goes to fault mode. So for that only they given this suspend. So suspend, TND, both are working same. But in TND, your PLC doesn't go to fault and all. It will keep on running. But in suspend, it goes to fault. And then we have MCR. So I'm just placing MCR in here. So this will be our starting point of MCR. Okay. So the sub subroutine separately we'll see. So first I'll give the addressing in this. For jump, I'll just give F1. So in the help, you can see the address. So for jump, the address is what? Q, we have to prefer. So it is what? Q2, we have to use it. And similarly, in here, u colon we have to use. Okay. So in here, for, since it is our first jump, q2 colon 0 I'm using. So the same address we have to give in the label also. So 
So now what happens now? If uh, rung one is uh, in rung one, we have an input. If this input is not activated now, your PLC will scan this second network. So whenever this input is on, output will on. If the input is off now, output will be off. But once in rung one, this switch is activated now, what happened? The jump will be initiated. So based upon jump instruction, what it will do now, whenever the jump instruction is activated, it will jump to the label commander. So the label we given in third network. So in between second network, it won't scan PLC. So after rung one, it goes to rung three. So that's the working of jump. So it will skip part of your program. So for label, it is not like compulsory. We have to give an output. You can give binary address also. Just for namesake only, we're giving. So no need to waste output. So PND. Okay, so we'll save it. Now download. So you can see in this, when we activate a input in here, you can see your PLC is scanning due to that output is on. Suppose for example, right now, I'm activating the jump instruction. So what happens now? Since the jump is initiated, your PLC jump to the rung 3. It won't scan the rung 2. Suppose if I try to activate rung 2 input now, your output won't on because your PLC is not scanning. So this is the working of jump instruction. So it is controlling the scanning. For the example right now, while the, you can see right now, jump is off so the output is uh, responding your plc is scanning rank 2 so now while the output is on you activate the skip so according to your plc memory in this address output is on state has been stored due to that since we given a jump instruction now uh, even though input is off also it will maintain the on status so whenever you using jump instruction always you have to confirm before the activating jump whether output is off, then only you have to initiate it. Otherwise, what happened? The output remains in on, it will lock. So not only in AB PLC, in any PLC, when you're using jump instruction, the working principle is same. So next we'll see MCR. So right now you can see, right now we're using MCR. Inside MCR, you can see this is a starting point and this is end point. Only for starting point, you need a switch. So inside the MCR loop, when we activate the input, you can see it is not responding because once MCR input is activated, then only what happens inside that loop, all the functions will work. Suppose if you say any emergency, we want to deactivate all these output now, no need to off one by one. Simply what you can do is you can of the MCR input. So that means uh, in our PLC controller, that means in a machine you can take, we have a emergency stop uh, push button. When we activate emergency stop push button, what should happen is all the process should stop. So for that we are using the MCR loop. So in your PLC controller, you have to use a MCR function for that it will be easy. Otherwise, what we have to do is we have to use a NC contact of that emergency stop push button in all the process. So instead of that, we can use what? MCR function. 
ओके सो नेक्स्ट इज टी एंड डी सो वाइट नो यू कैन सी यूर पी एल सी इज स्कैनिंग वर्ड बिलो टी एंड डी बट वन टेम्पररी एंड इज एक्टिवेटेड ना यूर पी एल सी इट वोट स्कैन द बिलो नेटवर्क यू कैन सी इवन दो स्विच इज एक्टिवेट इट इज नॉट रेस्पॉन्डिंग सो इनियल ऑल्सो जस्ट लाइक जंप इनियल ऑल्सो इट इज कंट्रोलिंग द स्कैन सो बिफोर एक्टिवेटिंग टी एंड डी your output was in off status so it is maintaining that suppose right now when the output is on in that time if you activate tnd na even though input is cut also it will maintain so yeah, when using tnd you have to careful regarding the output status and uh, same goes for suspend also so right now you can see this one is working but once suspend is activated na you can see what happened it won't work and once the suspend is off it will work so while the output is on if you activate suspend now even the input is off also it will maintain so it is same as tnd but the where the difference na in a real time when you using suspend it goes to fault mode in suspend but in simulation both are working like same but in a real time what happened the suspend when you using your plc goes to fault mode once you deactivate suspend then only it will work so i hope you understood jump temporary and suspend and mcr function so next we'll see subroutine instruction so right now in here you can see when we using uh, jump to subroutine so it's asking which page it should jump to so now you can see ladder to that is our main page so if you want to create a sub page na select program file new it will create what already two is the so it's showing three okay so since we given three in here the address will be u u colon 3 so that we represent the ladder number page number so now in this page you can use subroutine so it will be like a continuity so in here also it act like a contact so we need what and output so memory address i'll give it and in the last you have to give a return so in the main page we have to use in ladder 2 we have to use jsr and in the sub page you have to use subroutine in the top so in that it won't ask any address and all and in here return so now you can save it download then so subroutine means we can control the sub pages for example this ladder 3 i have to control so when i give a instruction then only this page should scan so right now when i activate this input you can see it is not responding because we are not activated the subroutine instruction so when you activate subroutine instruction then only this page will work so in here also we controlling the scanning so you can see right now if you off it will work on means output will on but uh, right now if you want to stop this one now always we have to confirm whether output is off then only we have to cut the subroutine supply because while the right now i'll just activate the sub page while the output is on if you cut the supply now it will maintain the previous status even though input is off so same like jump subroutine also what controlling the scanning so not only in ab in all plc same but the way of usage will be different the function is same so i hope you understood the program control function thank you